Hello and welcome to the Poor Man's Guide to the Galaxy. My name is Alfred Turner and today I'm going to be showing you my first ever food haul for the food bank. Now the total cost for this was £95.33. pence. I had a budget of £90 because that's what, what's, what I was given for my birthday and I thought I wanted to give that to the food bank. The reason for the price being a bit higher than I was that I anticipated was because they had, had there's only a few alternatives to the things that I actually wanted. But if that happens, and this is Sainsbury's, then they're going to give you an online voucher for the difference in price. So for me, for example, I got five pounds and forty-five pence as an online voucher. It's on my account, and I can use that for any further purchases from them online and it's valid for six months. Like I said, this is for the food bank, all £90 worth, and uh, they have like a list, my, or at least my local food bank does, with things that they need the most at the moment, and that's what I've gone for. I've used all the things that they had there, and once I had that filled out, I just purchased some items to get up to the £90 of items that I know that they're usually a bit short on, such as skimmed milk, which is my first. Well, I don't know about skimmed milk, but UHT milk. This is a six pack of UHT milk, and um, I was a bit surprised that they only had the skimmed milk because I know, like shops like Morrison's, they have skimmed, semi-skimmed and the full fat whole milk as well as UHT and Sainsbury's only had the skim milk so I know the food bank they accept things like this and and they only also accept the dry milk, the powdered milk and things like soy milk, almond milk, whatever nut milk or non-dairy alternatives that there are and I've got like bags and bags here so we're just going to try and, try and get through that together grabbing the, and this is in no particular order by the way uh, I'll, tell, I'll try and tell you if this was on the list but if it's not on the list milk not on the list, just something I got let's see oh. This is the dessert part. So we have three pa packs of Sainsbury's dried powdered custard and instant custard. I know it's the food bank, my food bank at least, they give up out either custard or rice pudding as a treat like a dessert and they also give you tinned fruit so and this was this was on the list and yeah moving on we have we have about four tins of rice pudding trying to get it to focus yay there we are four tins of Sainsbury's uh, rice pudding and I know Sainsbury's is probably the last shop to still have uh, have some sort of limit on how many things you can buy of certain items um, but pretty much every other shop doesn't at least to my knowledge let me know if it's different so custard no sorry, rice pudding this is on the list as well so, now there's one more item here, and this was on the list as well, because they wanted noodles, like small types of noodles, so this is Sainsbury's barbecue beef flavoured instant noodles. I don't personally like the, uh, this flavour myself, but if you like them, hey, that's that, moving on. And we're coming out in on more noodles. And 
me that. One of the things that's not on the list, but that I got anyway, this is like a powdered instant chicken noodle soup mix. I don't think I've had, tried this one before, but I know the concept. You mix this up with water or milk and then you have it. You can mix this with the UHT milk or you can use milk powder as well. A couple of tablespoons of milk in this you can make all the difference in the world. And so we have some vegetable noodles from Sainsbury's. These I've had before, these are really nice actually, especially if you mix in a, a bit of vegetables, if you have them, like tinder or frozen vegetables, really nice. Or if you want to make a stir fry with these, highly recommend. And coming toward to more noodles, as you can see here, we have Three more barbecue, three more barbecue chicken, oh, barbecue beef, sorry, barbecue beef, one from Sainsbury's, instant noodles again, because that's what's on the list, and that's what they're going to get. So in total there were four barbecue beef, and the reason why I keep saying chicken is because I had one of these as well, this is a chicken flavour in the noodles, again Sainsbury's. I have not tried this one myself, but it's in the noodles, I suppose it's alright. Actually, I think it might actually be quite nice if you mix the soup mix with the instant noodles, just give it a bit more substance, so to speak. And going to Instant mash the Sainsbury's again, and uh, these are the this is the powdered one in sachets. It is, I think it's like three or four sa four sachets of this, and I can't remember how much they give you at the food bank. I think I got a cut one of like one of those little tins, you know, if you know what I mean with. This stuff where you get like one or two of these per person and sachets and boxes for your three day meal. And then coming on to, I have not going to show you all of them, but this is Sainsbury's potatoes in water. Yep, tinned potatoes. Five of them and Hubbard. It is Sainsbury's, so even though it says Hubbard, but that's uh, the one that it used to be like Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's, I don't know what. It's the cheap, cheapest version of Sainsbury's. They just rebranded that so it wouldn't. So it would look a bit fancier, but this is pretty much the cheapest stuff. And at my food bank, they give you the option of having either mash or this tin potato yeah moving on and now we come to one of the things that i think potatoes were on the list but i'm not sure now we come to one thing that i know that was on the list and that was washing up liquid they had a limit on the washing up liquid at the moment it was three per person so I got three of these and this is Sainsbury's again just the original green one you know the one that you that you usually buy or if you get the yellow one or whichever you get but hey it's washing up liquid I've never tried this this one again but I suppose it's good it's washing up liquid doesn't need to be fancy as long as it does the job. And 
Now we're coming up to a staple which I've actually tried. This is baked beans. And again, this is the Hubbard, the cheapest one. I think this one is about 25 pence for a tin, which is a good price. I mean, it tastes all right. It's baked beans. This was not on the list, and I know that they, I think they said they, that they had a um, good supply of this, but I always like to include this. It's a really good and cheap protein as well. And they pretty much throw these at you at the food bank. You get like two or three tins, if I remember correctly, of these. And something that I actually asked for, and that I tried to get as many of as possible. Oh, there's another tin of baked beans. And. This is Sainsbury's spaghetti lettuce in tomato sauce, and this is these are half tins, and each of these tins are one portion. If you do portions of like this, and here we are. So it's basically half the size of a regular tin, and this is not the cheapest one. They didn't have the one that I wanted that were a bit cheaper, but this one actually counts as one of your five a days, which is always good. And yeah, it was on the list. I have no place to, to put this down. Oh, and this, these ones, I don't know if I mentioned it, but these were three per person, per customer, so I got three of these again. Coming up to the next one, I think this was uh, one of the things that they had a good sort of amount of at uh, my food bank, but this is again Hubbard's uh, pasta sauce, the cheapest one, I think this is about 45 pence for this one, and I had this one before, the cheapest ones are always the same, pretty much, and um, it's alright. I've used this one in like if I'm making pasta bolognese or if I'm making lasagna or whatever and it's all right just need a bit of extra se extra seasoning and this is four portions according to this but if you put a bit of extra I don't know garlic powder uh, some onion and paprika and whatever then it's actually quite nice and I got I got four of these because you could have as many as you wanted of these. Um, oh yes, I think this one, this one was three per person. I think because I only got three. Um, these are golden rice, Sainsbury's golden rice. Oh, golden vegetable, savory rice. I. Tried versions of this, you know, like the Uncle Ben's, that's they just heat in microwave. But this one you have to actually cook in a saucepan with water. And I haven't tried these ones specifically, but I do know them. I only tried the name brand and I tried Morrison's install brand of this one, I think. It looks really nice actually on the pictures. I think I might have to buy some for myself and try them. This, look, this looks nice. And if you're vegan or vegetarian, these are vegan actually. So, really nice. Moving on. Now we're going to get into the meaties. All oh, these bags. Everything is in these Sainsbury bags. I was planning actually on giving them to the food bank, but actually they're pretty bad, so I don't think I'm going to bother. I do have some extra bags anyway, like reusable bags, so I'm going to give my extras to the food bank so just in case there's some they have a client who doesn't have their own bags, then I can just give that to them. And 
Yes, moving on to meat. And the first thing, this is on the list by the way. And that there are different kinds of meat, and meat is always the most expensive thing. Thing on the list I find, which is you can get all these other things, all the vegetables, pasta, blah blah blah. But then, then you get this, and this is so expensive. And uh, I did get two tins, I think. Uh, yeah, I think. Oh no, it's, I think this was three big customers as well on meat. And these are actually branded. It is King's Food hot, hot, hot Dogs. Eight hot dogs in a tin. And I've tried hot dogs in a tin once. And it wasn't for me, really. Um, there are some glass bottles, Vikinger, I think they're called, much nicer than these, I don't know what it is, maybe it's because it's in a tin, they just don't really taste as nice as they do if they're in like a glass bottle and it's like proper hot dogs, but hey, if you're hungry, uh, uh, you will probably eat this, I would eat this if, if this was my only option too, so. And, oh yeah. I got these are the ones that I was talking about. These are the Vikingers five hot dogs. I got two of these, and I actually buy these all the time if I want to have hot dogs, if I want to barbecue or whatever. These are my go to options, and yeah, they're actually quite nice. This is a German brand, but pretty nice. And I'll probably find like a thousand of these, but these are Sainsbury's anchovy fillets in olive oil. These I use all the time as well. I actually like this. It's really nice to have it in like a pasta dish or if you bake it with potatoes and a bit of milk or cream. It's actually quite nice. Or you can make a really nice salad dressing with this. And I'm, I don't actually think that the next one was. Oh, really? One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. I have five tins of Frey's meatballs in tomato sauce. Again, this is a branded one. Because uh, I didn't find any good, any good in-store brands for this. I usually try to get in-store brands just to get the most, get get more products, so to speak. And these are even chicken meatballs. And I've never tried this one so again. When I do have meatballs, I usually buy the frozen ones, like the Swedish meatballs, or I just make them from scratch myself because I find that to be a bit cheaper and tastes better. So I've got five tins of this name brand on the list. And coming on to I also got a couple of vegetarian things because there are going to be vegetarians and vegans as well who use the food bank. And this is Sainsbury's doll. So love your veg doll probably can't see it is but it's chickpea doll it's oh it's not vegan actually it's vegetarian this one is vegetarian so it's in a mild spicy curry sauce I suppose it has milk in it but I've had doll and it's really nice actually and if you make it this yourself it can be really cheap as well uh, yeah yep see yeah. it's actually not there's actually no no dairy in this. So this one should actually be vegan. It's Sainsbury's Love Your Veg Chickpea Doll. And yeah, looks good actually. Yeah. And yeah, the, these are two the same. The vegan doll, even though it says it's just vegetarian, but it doesn't have any dairy products in it, so should be fine for vegans too. 
Again. Again. And this is the big pasta and sauce bag. This one was requested by the food bank. This is something that was on the list that they wanted. And and this is again a name brand. It is Bachelors. Pasta and sauce, cheese leek and ham flavour. All three of them were the same. I don't think I've tried this specific one, but I do. I have tried the pasta and sauce type of thing, and they're quite nice to have as a side. And if you have some protein with it, it can be actually quite nice actually, or if you want some comfort food. It, it is nice to have this one as well. If you like, uh, I don't want to cook, I'll just make one of these and then have that. And then we have the in-store brand section. These are three again of the mac and cheese one. The Sainsbury's mac and cheese. I'm not really a fan of mac and cheese, but I, mean, I love cheese, but not mac and cheese. I don't know what's wrong with me, but hey. Then I'm going to again another Sainsbury's. We have pasta tubes in cheese and dried broccoli sauce. This one is quite nice actually. And again, all of this is on the list. I've got three of each. Um, the, you could buy more than three, but I think I just want to have three of each. Just for. I don't know why actually. And last one is the classic pasta spirals and tomato and herb sauce mix. And I don't think I've tried one, but I know from my own preferences that I really like this type of thing. I just prefer having making my own my own with like this pasta sauce in a jar and just cook some pasta rather than this but hey again if you're hungry and this one is vegetarian it says vegetarian but then again it doesn't contain it doesn't contain any dairy so it should be fine if you're vegan as well and that's that part more sausages and one one more thing that they really needed was jam and marmalade so so I got a got some a few different ones I got Sainsbury's own brand of this is raspberry I think yeah raspberry and then we have this is pretty strawberry jam as well. Both of these have tried this before and they're actually quite nice. I like jam. I usually have them on like pancakes and waffles. Not too much on toast though, but hey. Why don't we get this one? And then I got a couple of, I think I got like two each. And then I got also got apricot jam. Which is really nice as well. I've had that before. I think I got that one from the food bank actually last time. And uh, yeah. So so coming back now to the first of the replacements that I got is this is Prince's ox tongue. I've never tried ox tongue or tongue in my life, but I was supposed to get like lean ham or like tinned ham which is quite all right and obviously i've never tried this one like i said so i can't really comment on how it tastes and 
then I'm going to go on to more jam and I've got two here it is Sainsbury's you can't see Sainsbury's uh, black currant jam I like black currant jam I made it myself I never bought it but I did get one of those and coming up to two marmalade I got this is Hubbard again Hubbard again this is medium cut a couple of those and yeah I think I only got the marmalade one the medium cut one so at least three of them and yeah I got four of the Hubbard orange marmalades I've not tried this because I'm allergic to citrus fruits but should be fine uh, when I was able to eat citrus fruits I, I remember really liking uh, marmalade yeah the black currant one moving on to a bit more meat and again this was on the list and this is a branded product it is Prince's uh, lean corned beef this is one of the replacement that they sent me because I ordered the regular one but they didn't have it so they sent me sent me this one instead I really like it it's really nice actually corned beef you can do a lot of it if you haven't got any minced beef for example you can make a very nice pasta sauce with like a bolognese sauce it's a hash you can have it on your sandwiches, whatever. It's really nice, it's really useful as well. And cut going on to a bit more fish. This is the Glenridge Pilchard in tomato sauce. I've tried this one once, it's alright. Got it from the food bank, I don't think I would have tried it otherwise. But it's a bit like anchovy, but yeah, it wasn't really my thing. I think you can you can have another like sandwiches on its own and make it into like, like a sauce to have with rice or pasta, or on a sandwich with a bit of cheese on it. But it it's healthy for you, I suppose. So moving on. Yeah, I actually got four of them. Same thing that. Pilchards and the rest is fish from what I can see and it is this different types of sardines this is Sainsbury's again sardines are quite nice actually uh, and anchovies so we have uh, a couple of these are sardines in uh, olive in sunflower oil then we have them in with chili in sunflower oil as well, but with some chilies and just regular ones in olive oil. This is olive oil, not sunflower oil. And yeah, that's more with chilies. And then there was a bit of anchovies as well in that bag. <coughs> And this was on the list as well. It's quite often on the list, I find. And these are Sainsbury's tip tin openers. These were three pounds fifty each, so quite expensive. And I was able to fit two of them into the bu budget, so seven pounds. These. Did you ask you? Oh, do you have a tin opener? Because uh, as you see, how long this is tins and they will give you one if you haven't got one already i've been lucky enough to have one and mine's broken at the moment so i need to get a new one when i do my shopping next and, and moving on to a bit more tins i've got things that were 
requested as well, like spaghetti, tin spaghetti, you've already seen like the tinned one, the tin spaghetti and stuff like that. But this is Sainsbury's again, spaghetti bolognese and is this vegetarian? No, this, no, this is two different things. This is me rich minced beef. The red one is rich minced beef in tomato sauce. And this is, oh, it's vegetarian. The green one is vegetarian. So that's the difference. Like I said, I did try to get some vegetarian stuff. This is the meat one, and this is a vegetarian one. So I think there's like three. Oh yeah, the vegetarian one has soy mince in tomato sauce and it's vegan. And I got three of each of these. And how much meat was the chicken? And then we have some definitely have even more chicken noodles, instant ramen. After I showed you, it's, it's more hot dogs, the Viking ones, and some more anchovy fillets in olive oil. Oh no, no. Oh yeah, this one is one of the replacements. It is Bachelor's Super Noodle Chow Mein. I think I want like four of the vegeta vegetarian. Noodles, but they only had three, so they gave me the super noodles, chow mein one. One of these and three of the other ones, which is alright. And, and, and coming into this bag is more of the instant mash from Sainsbury's. Three more of these, so I got four mashes. The mesh packs in total, and that is it. This was a long video of me showing you what I bought, but you know, this, like I said, came to 95 pounds and 33 pence. Should have been around 90, just under 90 pounds, which is what I got for my birthday. But like I said, I got some substitutes, which is alright, I don't mind. So I'm not going to eat these. And I will be contacting the food bank to have it just picked up. And we'll do that social distance, of course, I've done that before. And if you have anything that you can give to your food bank, go to, go, on to the, go and search for them on Google, whatever town you're in, and town this food bank and see what they need ask them you know what you need at the moment and if you have one and um, yeah you can't do it everything but you can do something at least and you know, if you can't for example do this you know and go out and buy stuff and have it sent over to them then maybe you can be in contact and say hey can i make them can i send you some money so you can do it go out and buy whatever it is you need or if you do, or if you see see that oh they have the food bank has a bin in my shop, then you you know you can also say okay, do they have a list here of the things that I that they, that's the most wanted list, and maybe you can buy if it's I don't know some meat, ox tongue, is it jam, is it noodles, is it Jewish tea meal, you know whatever, and see maybe you can. Yeah, pick up one or two packs of jam or marmalade and a couple of uh, instant, instant noodles or mash or whatever and put it in the bin for them and these things are not the only things that they accept this is just the most wanted list and a few other things that I picked up and um, they do accept things you know like nappies, baby food, shampoo, deodorant, uh, feminine product feminine care, you know, tampons and pads, sanitary pads, 
toilet paper, things like that, pasta, just regular dry pasta, rice, you know, snacks, cat sweets, you know, pet food, at least cats and dog, cat and dog pet food. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the list is quite long for you to, and if you check out one of my early vid earlier videos, you will see what, what you can sort of expect to get in one. So, yeah, I hope you take care in these difficult times, and I'll see you next time.